Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here at GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to learn about installing Microsoft SQL Server on an Ubuntu 2004. So if you're looking to uh, deploy a SQL Server and you don't want to pay for a Windows license, uh, especially if you're looking for SQL Server Express, then this is the right tutorial for you. Let's get started. I'm Kevin Stevenson with PhaseLogix. We're a managed IT services provider. If you'd like to hire us for a project, go ahead and check us out at GetMeTheGeek.com. If you find my videos valuable, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you'd like to support me directly, go ahead and buy me a coffee. Here we go. All right, so I have set up here a uh, basically a list of instructions to, to do this. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it most is, it's mostly exactly the same as how Microsoft has it set up. However, we are going to put this on 2004, which is a newer version of uh, the newest LTS version of Ubuntu. And um, so let's get started. First things first, um, we're going to do some updates and it may require reboot. So, and uh, let's do that. All right. go all right now that, that is all done let's we're not going to reboot so we need to go ahead and add the key and boom there you go so now we have the uh, the repo key and now let's go ahead and import that repo we'll take and we'll copy this paste it over here and by the way if you haven't noticed I am actually using the new Windows terminal I like it a lot by the way and so if you're interested in that go ahead and check out one of my other videos where I talk about WSL 2 and the Windows terminal <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and do an update again And if you're wondering on Windows Terminal, if you'd like to zoom in and out, you can just hold the control key and scroll in, and that will change the zoom. And now we're going to go ahead and do the install. Like I said, this is pretty much straightforward. Um, it's Microsoft is only up to 18, uh, version 18.04 of LTS Ubuntu as far as their, their documentations, but uh, if this should work, the 2019 server install will work just fine on 2020, or 20.04, my bad. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and configure the SQL Server and set the S the uh, SA password, which is basically the root password in when it comes to SQL Server. And here we go. So first things first, you're going to want to choose the version of SQL Server that you want installed. In this particular case, we're going to choose number three, which is the Express free version. And go ahead and install that. You need to accept the license. And then you need to set up your SQL Server password. And there you have it. That was really simple, right? Well, let's do a couple more things. First of all, let's check to see if this guy is running. So let's uh, clear that terminal so you can see a little bit easier. And boom, and you will see right here, active and running. Let's 
after uh, this, we're gonna see what ports it's running. So you'll notice right here, you will see that port 1433, which is our normal TCP port, um, is on there, listening. So let's go ahead and take a look at the firewall. First things first, we need to And we need to allow 1433. And then we need to enable the firewall. And there you have it. So that's just some basic firewall rules. If you want, if you need to do some other stuff, uh, we just you know want to make sure we have that on there. All right. So here we are with a SQL Server management studio we're going to go ahead and connect to this guy so 31.13 is our IP address and we're going to put in our password and boom there we have it we are connected and that's all there is <clears throat> that's all there is to install it now just so you know, these SQL Server command line tools aren't ready for version 2020 or 2004 of Ubuntu. That's okay um, because really you can connect to it from a Windows machine. You just can't use the SQL CMD. So SQL CMD. See, it's not found because we don't have the tools yet. I'm sure that uh, Microsoft will be updating that stuff at some point in time and then you will be able to go ahead and add, go back and add these items in there when they support 2020. Otherwise you can use 1804 which is still ready for production, has many years ahead of it. Alright, let's see. That's all there is to it, installing SQL Server on 2020, 2004 Ubuntu. I keep wanting to call it 2020, but it's 2004. Um, so go out and use that SQL Server. Thanks.